Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, in the spirit of being more positive, because there's plenty to be complaining about, um, I want to talk about a comic book I enjoy quite a bit, and it's one that's clearly flying under the radar. Um, it did decent sales, but not good sales. I think the last time I looked, they were hovering in the 30s to 40s. Um, but the trades are selling actually stronger than than most trades, and that's a good sign. And in my mind, this comic is doing almost everything right, um, and it's it's from Marvel as well. And in addition to that, it has a really large cast of characters. It uh, has had a consistent writer and artist now for, you know, I believe 16 issues. And I, we know enough to go to the 18th issue. It's been the exact same writer and artist through the whole thing. 18 issues straight at Marvel with the same creative team. I, I, how could this possibly be? In addition, uh, this, character, this comic features a ton of new characters. It features a ton of diverse characters. It gives you... All kinds of things, not just human, plenty of aliens, magic creatures, uh, women, men, different races, different uh, alien type. I mean, just everything. Uh, the book has a lot of heart. It's uh, It's got good cliffhangers. Um, the art has been solid. And it's uh, it's. I think it's, it's great. People have asked me, what's a book I enjoy? This is a book I enjoy. So every month I pick this up. I'm generally not disappointed. I say generally, I'm not disappointed. I pick this up and I enjoy it. It's not a book that I pick it up and go, wow, this is the best comic I've ever read. Um, but it often is one of the best comics I've read for the month. And I think that, you know, as a as a story, just just living in its own little world, doing its thing, um, it's it's wonderful. It doesn't have a lot of crossovers, doesn't have a lot of nonsense in it. And when you pick it up, you know what you're going to get. One of the best parts about this book is if you pick up one issue and you read it, it's pretty, it lays what it is out on the table pretty cleanly. You're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. It's pretty obvious. And then if you pick the comic up like six months later, it's still that same thing. So it's, it's, it, if you like this book, it's going to keep giving you what you like about it. If you don't like the book, it's easy to walk away from it and not pay any attention to it. Cause again, it does sit in its own little universe. So you probably have guessed uh, the book I'm talking about right now, but it's strange Academy. And this book is by Scotty Young, and it's by Huberto Ramos. And um, what's interesting about this, Ramos is a pretty big-selling Marvel talent. Uh, he's definitely had runs on Spider-Man. Scotty Young, of course, is not exactly any kind of slouch. Uh, Ramos' style is, is very unique. Um, it's been at times awkward and weird for Spider-Man. But on this comic, given all the magic elements, the new characters, tons of kids, it fits it incredibly well. And Scotty Young, as a creator, as a writer, uh, does a really good job of tapping into authentic uh, child dialogue and everything else. And the other, the other piece, actually, to, to really highlight on here is uh, Ed, you know Edgar Delgado, who has been a color artist. And actually, that's really important to, to point out here because the... The coloring on this book is some of the best on a monthly kind of ongoing Marvel title uh, or DC. Uh, very, very moody, often kind of painted with surreal, almost a watercolor look to it at times. Uh, the magic elements are done far better than any other magic book that Marvel has going on right now. And it's just, it's a clean looking solid book. So how, how do you know if you're interested in this? Well, first of all, if you are, in, if you liked the uh, Marvel book Avengers Academy from back in the day. And you liked kind of that feel of Teen Titans, maybe further back, uh, but with a magic bend to it. Uh, this book is, is probably for you. It distinctly, as you read it, does not feel or read like current you know, Marvel or DC books. The dialogue feels different. The uh, character, like I know uh, New Mutants gets a lot of attention for being a, a you know authentic book about kids it, this one this actually sounds like kids in school it has adventures and moments of peril that feel like kids in school it definitely has a you know a magic horror element to it um but you know lightweight horror it's it's kids horror um this this book is is absolutely solid. Um, there have been, I, you know, there has been a couple one shots. I know then when they did the death of Dr. Strange, um, Mike Del Mundo did, um, did a story with Scotty young, but generally speaking again, it, it's the art was picked to align with what was going on. Um, it, the core title though has been the exact same creative team and has been very fun. Um, 
this comic, of course, started with Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is dead. Uh, now it's uh, Doctor Voodoo is kind of the, the headmaster of this school. You get um, interactions from the Ancient One, from the Zelma Stanton character, from um, uh, it, at times the Scarlet Witch, Magic, Damien Hellstorm. Uh, so you get a, a number of different um, characters that have come in and out of this thing. Uh, even Dead Girl uh, has come into this thing, which is uh, pretty cool. It's introduced us to a number of different characters, and the characters come from different parts of the Marvel Universe. You've got some characters from Asgard. You have some characters from the Dark Dimension. You have like a, a you know Dormammu Faltine uh, kid. You have fairies. You have uh, members of the occult. This comic is set uh, down in kind of New Orleans, and one of the interesting aspects is the city and the environment itself starts to be a, a almost a backdrop to the series. It starts to uh, to feel like you know uh, a, a character in and of itself. Uh, whether it's uh, you know Scotty Young or Ramos who you know went to study a lot of places, the the environment looks extremely unique. It does not look like the generic, uh, you know, New York or just random buildings everywhere. It feels like uh, an authentic part of the, the story. It's got, you know, the heart stuff of kids where the kids are trying to get along and every now and then they mess up and they support each other. But it comes across like, you know, again, like an authentic kid supporting each other. It doesn't have that weird kid validation stuff that like, I've listened to you. I understand you. I understand you. I'll give you a hug. No, I will give you a hug. I am to blame. No, you are to blame. It's like in this one, it's just, it, it feels authentic. There's some moments in um, issue 12 or at the end of the arc, you know, they, they go through a pretty horrific adventure, you know, face near death, you know, kids all, uh, all hug at the end. Like they, they survived and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, we've seen glimpses of the future where the characters get to see how they look uh, growing up. We've had, um, we've had a, a pretty awesome tour of parts of the Marvel universe, including little flashbacks into the, uh, you know, the, uh, the age of apocalypse, uh, other, er other kind of eras there. Um, so if you have kind of a deep understanding and deep knowledge about, uh, about, you know, Marvel, um, you will get some pretty cool little, you know, nods to, to different elements. Um, the characters also have an element where they they realize, and this is similar to Avengers Academy where some of them have a natural uh, sense of evil. And so they, they kind of have to, you know, they, they get a glimpse of their future selves where they've turned bad and, and, you know, can they fight against kind of the direction they're going? Um, you have other characters who have lost their magic and, and taking, you know, bad choices in order to try and get it back. So there's there's a there's a number of things that go on here, um, and it at times is overly dramatic as a as a kind of kids in school type thing, but I, 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 the the notes that we often complain about that I hear from different people around, you know, jumping around with art, jumping around with story, not paying attention to the you know what not not honoring the history of the Marvel universe and what's come before and and how these characters exist. By and large, the vast majority of characters that you see here are um you know existing they're, they're sorry they're they're new so it gives us a new template to play with but whenever an existing character does come into the picture they come across as authentic whether it's dr voodoo whether it's a scarlet witch whether it's whoever um the characters are written to be like themselves this comic uh, continues to sit very much in in the sidelines not a lot of uh, promotion for marvel around it but it's easily one of the most consistent books out there and it's a fun book you get some really cool little pieces, uh, some nice elements. It's fun. Um, if if you enjoy the magic side of things, if you are okay with that kind of Avengers Academy feeling of you know the story being primarily about kids and having that that tenor to it, um, it's a it's a really solid little book. I I recommend it. If you know you're into Marvel, this is a good one to come and and go with. And it's uh, it's got some good stuff. It's it's lightweight horror. It's, it's action. There's definitely some superhero stuff to it. Uh, this is how comics, you know, used to be still printed today. So Strange Academy, you know, very positive. The, people ask me, what's a comic I'm reading that I enjoy? Here's a comic that I'm reading really enjoy. And I think you would too. So check it out. Like I said, it's, uh, it's worth a look. If you look at a bit and it just doesn't work for you, no problem at all. Uh, again, it wears what it is on its sleeve. There aren't any tricks to it. 
But if you're looking for just a good solid comic, if you remember how the X-Men, the Teen Titans books like that used to be back in the 80s, definitely has some of that feel to it. It is a classic comic book. So my hat's off to, uh, you know, certainly to Scotty Young and Huberto Ramos, uh, who I think are, are doing one hell of a job with this book. And Edgar uh, Delgado, who's got to be the, one of the best colorists in the business right now. Again, this this book looks beautiful from a color perspective. Uh, so well done. Good stuff. Uh, interesting drama. Worth a look. Let me know if you like it. If you please, if, you, if you're going to do give me the uh, no, I refuse to give Marvel and my money. OK, no problem. We get it. I get it. I answered the question. <laughs> we, we get it. You're done. You don't have to say that every time. But uh, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you, if you didn't like it. Let me know why you didn't. And thanks for listening.